concept of whether or not a patient's progressing or not seems like a straightforward concept and, and for the most part it was a straightforward concept in the era of chemotherapy uh, but based on the uh, immune checkpoint blockade uh, uh, ability to potentially alter the natural history of the disease uh, we're seeing really two unusual uh, progression kinetics emerge um, one has been labeled pseudoprogression, and pseudoprogression is probably this wastebasket term that refers to a number of different underlying mechanisms. It was really probably initially um, uh, developed as a term to indicate patients who uh, have larger tumors on scan as a result of infiltration of immune cells, not because the cancer was growing. Um, but it pro there's probably under other underlying mechanisms uh, to account for this observation of pseudoprogression. But really when I think about pseudoprogression, what it really means is that the scan looks worse, but the patient looks better. Um, and in that situation, uh, additional treatment with immune checkpoint blockade is quite reasonable. And we have retrospective data now that shows that probably somewhere between five and 30% of patients will go on to have shrinkage of their tumor uh, if, if they continue immune checkpoint blockade. The other progression kinetics that are less well recognized and less commonly discussed than pseudoprogression, but probably more important, is this notion that in patients who've already responded to immune checkpoint blockade, we're seeing some patients who, uh, for whom all the prior areas of cancer remain stable or regressed, and a new spot will pop up that might not have been observed at all on their initial scans. Uh, and this is really a different progression pattern than we saw with chemotherapy. Uh, and so in these patients, what should always be considered is whether or not there's the opportunity to integrate local treatment modalities uh, to um, direct at that single spot, which might have mutated in such a way that renders it resistant to the immune response while the remainder of the cancer is under control. So what specifically? Well, irradiating a single spot of illegal progressive disease and continuing immune checkpoint blockade is an emerging strategy.